All right, YouTubers, part two of the show. We're going to try it now. Hopefully we don't shoot the chronograph or nothing like that. We're going to start with large rifle primers and hope we get a reading. Public range, I got my buddy Chris here. He's not known to say much, so I don't think he'll be buttoning in often. Or shooting his loud, annoying muzzle braked guns, magnums and stuff. Mm. Makes my little gun seem like a girl's gun. We want to talk about that. Chris, hope for the best, buddy. Uh, now, you, <laughs> you think it's going to hit it? <laughs> Hey, hey, we got a reading. Twenty-four forty-four. All right. I'm gonna fire two more of the large rifle primer gun. Uh, 65 Craig Moore's that we loaded? Oh, what's that? Huh? What's that? That's my 308. I don't think I've seen that one. Yeah, you have. Twenty four eighty five. If I get all six of these shots off with a measurement, I'll be super excited. Twenty five thirty eight. Grain bullet that. What's that? What grain bullet's that? 140 grain. It's the uh Hornady AMAX. Low 2444. High 2538. Average 2489. Deviation. 93.64. I'm sorry. No, that was the largest gap. Now, yeah, okay. 47.12. All right, now we'll do small rifle primers. Twenty four seventy Well, I'll go ahead and tell you, those are a lot more consistent. Oh, I didn't change strings. Twenty-four eighty-three. Yeah, I didn't change strings. $24.50. 
2483, 2466, 2475. So that one, small rifle primers have a deviation of about 15. The large rifle primers seem to have a larger deviation. Now let's go look at the target. And 123 yards later, small rifle primer, large rifle primer. Could have been the nut behind the trigger. Thank you all for watching.